The latest Toyota Tacoma has arrived, and it's better than ever. There's a reason why Tacoma accounts for nearly half of all sales in its class, and a reason why it's been the best-selling mid-sized truck for well over a decade. That said, being on top means the competition is always gunning for you. And that's never been more true than with the reintroduction of the Ford Ranger, an impressive new entry into the segment. Let's spend a few minutes to see how these two vehicles compare and discover why Tacoma remains a top choice. Tacoma's heritage dates back to 1995, when it first hit the scene as a replacement for the aptly named Toyota Pickup, also known internationally as the Hilux. And while the Hilux continued to sell overseas, North America and a few other markets were instead graced by the all-new Tacoma, at the time classified as a compact pickup, rather than mid-size as it is now. Here in the US, it burst onto the scene and became legendary for its winning performance in the Baja 500 race. And over the 25 years that followed, Tacoma evolved across three generations, with each year further honing its winning formula of quality and durability mixed with capability and performance. Ranger has a similar story in that it's been around for quite a long time. However, its heritage isn't rooted in off-road racing and quality, durability, and reliability. The first Ranger technically arrived in 1983, but its roots can actually be traced back to the 1972 Ford Courier, the brand's first compact pickup. From then until 2011, Ranger went through two major generation updates before being discontinued for 2012. And although the model lived on overseas, it didn't return to the US market until 2019's debut of the new fourth generation model. A model that has actually been available internationally since 2015. Tacoma's lineup is structured around six grades, the SR Work Truck and the all-around utility SR5, the fully loaded Limited, and three performance and off-road oriented trims, TRD Sport, which is tuned for on-road fun, TRD Off-Road, the perfect truck for getting off the beaten path, and the incredible TRD Pro, a no-holds-barred off-roader that's made to tackle the toughest trails out there. Now, when it comes to trucks, versatility is the name of the game and Tacoma ensures it offers something for everyone. Not just through its six grades themselves, but through a variety of configurations within each one, making for a 32-vehicle lineup spreading various bed lengths, cab sizes, engines, transmissions, and drive systems. Ranger, on the other hand, is offered across just three grades, XL, XLT, and Lariat. And although all three of these can be found in either Super Cab with six-foot bed and Super Crew with five-foot bed variants, as well as outfitted with four-wheel drive, Ranger still only offers one engine and one transmission, making for a grand total of just 12 possible configurations. Under the hood, Tacoma is no slouch. It offers an engine choice between an efficient and practical 2.7-liter four-cylinder and a 3.5-liter V6 that boasts a whopping 278 horsepower and includes standard Class 4 towing equipment. Depending on model, these engines can be paired with either a six-speed automatic transmission or a six-speed manual transmission, a rarity in today's market and a blessing to drivers that want to row their own gears. Additionally, Tacoma can be had in either two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, the latter of which offers some seriously cool available off-road features, like a locking rear differential, multi-terrain select, crawl control, and more. Now, while it's true that Ranger only offers one powertrain, at least it's a good one, its 2.3-liter EcoBoost engine and 10-speed automatic transmission offer an impressive balance of power and efficiency. In fact, even though it can't quite match Tacoma's total horsepower, it does produce best-in-class torque, a very useful thing in a truck. But don't let that fool you into believing that Tacoma can't meet everyday hauling and towing demands. And Ranger's lack of a manual transmission also means that stick-shift enthusiasts are simply out of luck. Plus, its standard ground clearance tops out at 8.9 inches, which can't quite match Tacoma's standard 9.4-inch figure. The same goes for its standard approach angle, which tops out at 28.7 degrees, while Tacoma TRD models boast approach angles as steep as 35 degrees. Like Tacoma, Ranger can be outfitted with four-wheel drive, although it doesn't offer any dedicated off-road models to match Tacoma's TRD range. This clearly represents an advantage for Tacoma, and its wide range of active lifestyle enthusiasts. 
So instead, Ranger relies on the FX4 off-road package to satisfy enthusiasts with features like sport-tuned shocks, tires, and skid plates, as well as terrain management and trail control systems. That said, to equip this off-road package on XL models, two other packages must also be added, quickly changing Ranger's value proposition. Similarly, its trailer tow package must be equipped separately, as opposed to Tacoma's V6 tow package, which comes standard on all V6 models. When it comes to standard features, Tacoma is not messing around. Ranger also offers some great features, but many of them are either not standard or not offered on all models. For example, Tacoma's already well-equipped cabin now features Toyota's latest audio multimedia touchscreen systems on all models, which include great modern features like Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, and Amazon Alexa compatibility as well as integration with Toyota's line of connected services. Meanwhile, Ranger's similar SYNC 3 multimedia system is only standard on Lariat, which means that XL models have to make do with the base, non-touchscreen SYNC system, while even XLT buyers would need to pony up extra money to equip SYNC 3 and enjoy the larger touchscreen display with modern features like Apple CarPlay. And as far as safety, Tacoma stays true to Toyota form, with all models coming standard with the Toyota Safety Sense P suite of advanced active safety technologies, which include pre collision system, lane departure alert, automatic high beams, and the incredibly useful dynamic radar cruise control system that automatically manages your cruising speed based on the vehicle ahead. Ranger's active safety bundle, Ford Copilot 360, does include several similar features, but it isn't standard across the board. And even traditional cruise control is an extra cost feature, while adaptive cruise control is simply not offered. Meanwhile, XLT grades can only add adaptive cruise control if the vehicle is also upgraded with both the technology package and 301A package, while even the top Lariat model still only includes adaptive cruise control as an extra cost add-on. And speaking of safety, Tacoma also comes with eight airbags, including side knee airbags that aren't offered on Ranger. Plus, Tacoma offers some features that Ranger simply can't match. For instance, while Tacoma has an available power sliding rear window, Ranger is only offered with a manual sliding rear window. Ranger also has no available moonroof like Tacoma does, and it has to make do with USB device charging instead of Tacoma's available Qi wireless tray. So that's a look at some of the key facts between Tacoma and Ranger. And while both models offer great convenience, capability, and performance, Tacoma edges out when it comes to offering a versatile lineup that's jam-packed with great standard equipment, suited to meet the demands of your day-to-day -day life or your weekend adventures. So even though Ranger's starting price of $24,300 undercuts Tacoma's $26,050 entry point, that story quickly changes when you consider the extra cost packages often required for Ranger to truly go spec for spec. Ranger's pricing also doesn't take into account the great ownership benefits that come with driving a Toyota, like Tacoma's famously strong long-term cost estimates and resale values, Toyota's legendary reputation for quality, durability, and reliability, and even the Toyota Care no-cost maintenance plan and roadside assistance that comes with every new Toyota. So, as impressive as Ranger's return may be, it's not enough to shake Tacoma from its spot as America's favorite mid-size pickup.